Hello, I'm Jeffrey Hamm, Equity Analyst for Briefing.com. Today is Monday, October 27th. The S&P 500 is poised to buck a negative trend seen in overseas markets after a better-than-expected new home sales report lifted sentiment. But a surge in selling interest going into the closing bell caused the S&P 500 to finish with a sharp loss at session lows. It was a volatile start to the week. The S&P 500 opened with a 2.4% loss, climbed to a gain of as much as 1.9%, and settled with a loss of 3.2%. Volume was on the light side with only 1.3 billion shares exchanging hands on the New York Stock Exchange. Small and mid-cap stocks saw the largest decline with the Russell 2000 falling 4.8% and the S&P 400 dropping 4.3%. Each index hit a fresh multi-year low this session. Nine of the ten economic sectors posted a loss in broad-based selling interest as economic worries continue to sink stocks. The energy sector tumbled 5.7%. A 3.1% decline in crude oil prices and a decline in gasoline prices added to the selling interest. The financial sector was a laggard with a 4.1% decline. Multi-line insurers tumbled nearly 18% after traders were disappointed with a quarterly earnings decline at Humana. Goldman Sachs and Citigroup were in focus on reports that last month Goldman approached Citi about a possible merger, which Citi quickly rejected. However, regional banks rose 1.6% after several banks disclosed how much capital they would be receiving from the Treasury. The telecom sector outperformed, advancing 1.9%. Verizon reported a 4.8% year-over-year increase in third-quarter earnings per share that met expectations. Separately, CenturyTel is acquiring Embark in an all-stock transaction valued at $11.6 billion, including $6 billion in Embark debt. In economic news, new home sales for September rose 2.7% month-over-month to a seasonally adjusted annual rate of 464000 from a downwardly revised August reading of 452000 Economists forecast sales of a month-over-month decline of 2.2% to 450000 Sales are down 33.1% year-over-year. The median sales price of a new house is down 0.9% month-over-month and down 9.1% year-over-year. The inventory level declined 1 to 10.4 months, which is a good sign. Shares of home builders fell 3.3% in the face of the report. Overseas markets fell, with Asia getting hit especially hard. Japan's Nikkei declined 6.4% to its lowest closing level since 1982 as traders worried about the strengthening yen and its toll on Japanese exporters. The recent sharp rally in the yen prompted the G7 to issue a statement warning about the excessive gains in the currency. Hong Kong's Hang Seng dropped 12.7%, the euro stock's 600 declined 1.9%, pairing some losses in conjunction with a midday U.S. stock market recovery, and word that ECB President Trichet said the ECB may cut rates again at its November 6th meeting. The S&P 500 closed at a new five-and-a-half-year low, but remains 1.1% above its five-and-a-half-year intraday low that was reached on October 10th. The index is down 27% in October and 42% this year. I'm Jeffrey Hamm for Briefing.com, and thanks for listening.